number 42, Lily Mark. Oh, stolen back by Martinez. She gets it to Tina. Passes uh, to Sepulveda. Sepulveda passes to Dodario. Dodario under the basket and takes the layup. And one. And one Vikings. What a play right there. Beautiful and one. Great pass from Sepulveda to Dodario who finishes a tough layup. Now let's see if she can finish this and one, give the Vikings the lead. Great court vision right there on the fast break. So far, it seems to be a fast, high-paced game, but it seems to be a little bit sloppy. Um, I, we've definitely seen a few turnovers. What yeah, you definitely, think? you know. I think controlling the ball, once we get that rebound, you know, chin it, pivot, look ahead, try to get a layup in transition instead of, you What know. do you think the Vikings could do to really, like, you know, like not turn the ball over and same thing with Birmingham? Definitely, you know, after you rebound, you know, don't get ahead of yourself and start dribbling. Just look ahead. Look, look, who's, look who's over there. See rebound by Williams. Find someone leaking out. Yep. See, just like that. She lost the ball right there. Ball's out gotta, of bounds. Vikings ball. Got to chin it. Look ahead. See who's available. What? You, you cut out. Phillips. 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 Oliver. Can you do Um, raising the lead to three points. In the post to Martinez, who posts up Williams. Oh, it's blocked. Oh, they called a foul. I don't know if I agree with that call. It seems to be all ball to me. What do you think? Yeah, you know, definitely looked like it was all ball, but maybe the arms are a little uh, outstretched, a little too curved, and you know, they called a foul there. Yeah. It's all good, though. Martinez will be shooting the free throws mm -hmm. for Birmingham. First free throws of the game for the, for the school. She sinks the first free throw. I guess ball doesn't lie. I guess so, huh? Mm. See if she sinks the second one. Yep. And she does not. Rebounded by number three, Natalie Lopez, who passes it to number 10. Um, Air Divine ball. Barry. Oh my God, saved by Lily Martinez, but right to the hands of um, Nevaeh Smith, the freshman point guard for Campbell Hall. Pass to Poppy Silverstein, who misses the three-pointer, rims out. That is a foul on number 23, Layla Williams. Yeah, uh, great shot right there by Poppy. You know, I thought it was open. Great look. She just keep firing, you know, those will, those will fall eventually. Yeah, for sure. And if you can find shots like that, you'll win the game. That's right, that's right. It's a corner shot, Ooh. and it's way long. Tough that's shot. an air ball. Both teams seem to be struggling to... Um, you know, finish open looks, but they're both getting them, and I think as the game goes on, those shots will begin to fall. Yeah, I think so. You know, they're just warming up right now. So well, hopefully. Hopefully. Dribbles, passes to Dario, but it's, nope, it's not stolen. Oh, uh, but they call a travel on Dario. Wow. I think she was pushed there. I agree, but, you know, it's a turnover. Birmingham ball. Timeout. Like only scoring about three or only scoring three points in the first three minutes of the game. What do you think that they are need to work on? Birmingham, I think, just used to looks like they're not really running there any off any offenses, kinda just dribble penetrate. Maybe, you know, run some plays. But as far as the Vikings defense so far, I think it's it's great. You know, they're not letting Birmingham get into any plays, they're not letting them get into any sets and you know, forcing on bad shots and you know, they've only let up three points in these I, first three minutes. I think part of that is definitely just based on Campbell Hall, like, coming out with um, extremely big lineup. You have two um, of your backcourt player or frontcourt players being, like, almost six foot tall almost, um, which is not usually seen at the high school level. Of course. Pass to number 23, Samantha Velasquez. Pass to number 10, Barry. Barry passes to Lopez. Lopez dribbles. She's guarded by Smith. to Barry, to, to Martinez in the post. Um, Williams forces a tough shot, and the defense down low has been great for the Vikings. Yes, great defense by Layla Williams right there. You know, she is a presence down low in the paint right there. Nobody wants to go up. 
against her in the paint. They know they're getting blocked or they're missing. The Vikings have forced um, Birmingham to a bunch of bad shots, and even the um, shots Birmingham is getting, they've not been able to make. And I think if uh, the Vikings can continue to do this, they can win the game. Of course. Pass to Williams. Williams drives. It goes to the lane and makes it through some contact. What, what a, a move. What a lay. What a move right there. Come a little Euro step floater. It's a great move. The Vikings are on a 2-3 zone, getting all their getting all their size down low and really just like forcing the Birmingham to beat him with threes, which um, Barry hits, sinks from outside. You know, I thought that was a good uh, contested shot, but you know, Barry hits it and you gotta live with the results. I think part of the thing is um, Birmingham has showed very great ball movement. Pass from Smith to Williams. Williams swings to Sepulveda. Sepulveda shoots. Oh, she misses a tough shot. Pass. Oh, blocked by Martinez. Dario gets it back though. Vikings ball and jump ball called. Possession error goes to the Vikings. Um, three subs in, number 13 for Birmingham. Number 13, Annette Jones. Um, number 35, um, Andrea Ar Armosema. And um, I did not, oh, and number four, it appears, Anaya Johnson. Um, Campbell Hall subs in one girl, um, Charlotte Weinberger for Poppy Silverstein. Nevaeh is trapped. Birmingham is showing a, a strap. Oh, what a pass into the post. Layla's blocked, but gets it back and misses the layup. Forces, Forces another the jump. jump. Ball. Possession arrow to Birmingham. Both teams are showing really athletic defense. I think if they can keep this up, they can, that they're gonna, that it's gonna be an exciting game. Oh, of course, you know. So far, I think both defenses definitely showed out. I think shots will start falling for both teams, and we should be in for a good one. Like they say, defense wins championships, and both teams are showing great defense. So if they can keep this up, I think they're both going to have great seasons this year. That's right, that's right. Vikings uh, force a stop. Uh, Charlotte Weinberger inbounds the ball to, um, to Smith. Smith dribbles it up. The call, Vikings call get over a screen here from Layla. The Vikings get into their set. It's a pick and pop. And a nice drive from Smith. Oh, who misses a tough layup. Lopez trips um, after getting the rebound for Birmingham. Definitely that was a great take, but you know, the floor's not going to fall. And number 13, three right number there. 13, Annette Jones sinks the three for Birmingham, um, giving them the first, their first lead of the night, 9-7. to seven. Wow, that was very contested, but you know, it, fall, it, it fell, and the uh, Vikings find themselves down too. Smith is trying to find a way to get open. Birmingham's defense is suffocating. They have very quick guards, and it has definitely been a problem so far. Layla in the post, oh, and Williams one. inside in the end one. Count the basket. And now Layla Williams has a chance to take the lead in this game. Oh, man, she's been a dominant force down low this game, and I think that that's something that the Vikings need, especially um, after last year losing their second leading scorer and their leading rebounder, Aline Ballard, now having uh, two, big, two big players to fill their place is yeah. very helpful. Definitely. I think, you know, if you keep feeding... Layla there in the post. I think she's gonna keep, yeah, and keep then making having, buckets. Yeah, um, and then having and Layla uh, and Williams both in the post like definitely gives the Vikings some like definitely fills in for the Vikings um, losing Aline Ballard to um, going to um, Cal Cal um, Lutheran to play college to further her basketball career. Yeah, you know Layla only a freshman. We're still gonna have her for four more years, three more years, including this one. You know. Yeah. And I think she will be a dominant force her whole high school career. I, I very much agree. Um, Campbell Hall seems to rock in the new jerseys today. I've not seen these jerseys um, be worn yet. Very nice, very clean. Very, very, very clean. Birmingham also has the jerseys kind of remind me of the Seattle Seahawks um, home jerseys. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Definitely a nice mix of blue and green. Sepulveda is struggling in balance passes to Smith. Smith is caught in the backcourt, dribbling up. This. Um, Sabrina Starkman was subbed in for, for Layla Williams. Oh, Smith drives. Oh, and forces a tough shot. Ball gonna... poked out to Sepulveda, who shoots a tough three, and sinks it from outside. Boom, that's what a, a shot right there. That's the first basket um, in Garver's um, gem for her senior season. Told you they're going to start season. falling. Told you they'll start falling. Birmingham is trying to drive into the paint, but it seems very hard to get shots up over um, their center right now, Dario. Very athletic. There's another jump. Campbell Hall ball. Campbell Hall is also missing another um, six-foot-plus girl, um, Zion. 
um, a transfer this year. Um, she's coming from Indiana going into, this is going to be her junior season. Um, her eligibility hasn't been sorted out yet, so we're still waiting for word on that. But once we get her back, Campbell Hall will have an even larger lineup. I know, I know she is a sharp shooter. A she sharp, may be tall, a sharp she can knock down them threes. A sharp shooter also um, has great size, you know, can kind of just do it all, and I think that that's something Very versatile. Kind of reminds me of like a Jaron Jackson Jr. on the Grizzlies. Definitely, definitely. It can shoot, you know, block shots, play in the post, just like whatever team needs. For sure, as... Um, Starkman uh, misses the first free throw. This is actually um, her first varsity basketball game. Um, she just came from winning a Division II state title with Campbell Hall's volleyball team, and she decided to play basketball for her senior season. And it's already... What an athlete. Already into the starting lineup and just her first um, high school basketball game. Or into the lineup, so excited to see what she offers this year. And now gets a foul called on her down low. Birmingham will have it below the basket. <coughs> the scoring has definitely sped up for both teams. Um, oh, pass out to Barry. Left op wide open in the corner and she smokes it. Ball goes off of Sepulveda. And the ball, and it will be Birmingham's ball. <laughs> Another chance here to get a bucket under the basket. See what they got. Inbounds the ball to number 13, Jones, who passes it to number 35, um, Arosema, who, dr who drives it to the post and draws. Another foul. It seems that she draws a block on number 11, Dodario. Um, Silverstein subs in for the Vikings. Um, she subs out um, Weinberger. The foul was on Dodario. That is her first of the game. Yeah, now another out of bounds play. Oh, man. Inbounded right inside, but called a travel Great on Great defense Birmingham. right there. Great defense by the Vikings, you know. They let 35. They let Washington get in the paint right there. But they said, you know what, you're not getting a you're not getting a basket. We're forced to travel. Great defense right there. Smith dribbles up the ball, screen set by Dario. She ignores the screen, pulls up from the mid-range, and she misses the pull up. Rebound um, by Arosema, who passes it to a driving number 13, and, um, Jones, who misses the layup but draws the foul. The foul is on Dario. That is her second foul of the game. Yeah. Vikings, I know, are definitely trying to not have her get into foul trouble with um, some player, some injuries, some play, and then some players that um, aren't playing due to eligibility. They want to keep as many players on the court as possible. Yeah, you know, they definitely want her presence down there in the paint, and it would be a shame she could get fouled out. She She's would get fouled out of this game. She subbed so, out know. for Weinberger, Jones, or. Uh, Jones shoots the, and makes a second free throw. Number 20 subs in for Birmingham. Izzy Smith, she subs out. Number 23, Velasquez. Smith dribbles the ball up for the Vikings. Screen coming. She takes the screen from Starkman. Um, Birmingham seems to be trapping and playing um, very like suffocating defense on the Vikings. Sepulveda drives in, draws the foul. Oh, it's a charge. It's a charge. Sepulveda does not seem happy about it. Birmingham is very excited to draw the charge and um, force a turnover yeah, on the Vikings. Yeah, you know, I think she sent that elbow there just a little too much and unfortunately gets called for the charge. Unfortunately there, but the Vikings do still have the lead. The so ball's to inbounded to um, Arosema, who passes it to Barry. Barry passes a cross course to Izzy Smith, who is trapped by Smith and Weinberger. And there's a charge on the other side. Oh, they call court. a charge on uh, Birmingham. The Birmingham Patriots. You're not another than Patriots, now I know. Smith dribbles the ball. She calls Call for a screen. screen. Charlotte Weinberger gives her the screen. Smith pulls up for three, and she misses. Ball bounces out to Silverstein. Uh, last ditch shot before the quarter. It was shot by Sepulveda, but it is blocked.
Um, what do you think Campbell Hall can do to stretch this lead out, only being up by one point at the end of the quarter? You know, I definitely think we should keep keep having those our big players, you know, down low in the paint. Keep make keep forcing the uh, bad shots, you know, good closeouts. You know, we're already doing. I think just keep it up, keep up that defense. You know, we're, we're playing great D right now. And I think we just got to keep it up. Shots will start falling. You know, our offense is good. We're getting open shots. You know, Nevaeh is definitely getting a lot of open drives, a lot of open pull-ups. You know, they're not falling, but in the second quarter and in this rest of the game, I think they will start falling, and I think Kemba Hall can pull away and win this game. I 100% I agree. And um, <laughs> for Birmingham, what do you think Birmingham has to do to um, take the lead and win, and ultimately win this game? I think they got to, you know, they got to play a little more under control, you know. Definitely playing a little f too fast of a pace right now, I think. You know, they're, uh, they're not... They're not taking their time, you know. They're they're just getting in. They're trying to force up bad shots, and Kemba Hall. They're they're really appreciating that, you know. They're getting the rebounds, they're bringing them back, and they're scoring buckets. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. Let's see how the rest of the game plays out. Oh, hey. Um, the ball's inbounded to Lopez. Lopez passes to uh, Velasquez. Velas. Goes, oh, Lopez passes out to Barry, who shoots a three and misses. This is long. Dario's got the rebound. She's driving in. The Dario stuck, drives in. Oh, ball. Barry forces the jump ball. Kimball inbounds. Pulver passes it in. Um, she passes it to Williams. Williams catches it on the block. Ed is stripped, but gets it back. Passes out to Silverstein. Who spins in? Oh, but it's called for the travel. Yeah, one too many steps right there. It's all good. Um, Lopez, good Lopez um, takes the ball up for Birmingham. She, uh, she's been taking up the whole game. Pass to, oh, pass to number 23 in the corner of Velasquez, who smokes a three pointer, but she gets her own rebound back. Back out to Erosema, who shoots the three and misses again. People are crashing to the ground. Foul called on number two, Smith. Lopez to inbound the ball for Birmingham. She inbounds to Barry. Silverstein inbounds the ball for the Vikings. To Williams. Williams passes to Silverstein. Gotta watch out for the 10 seconds. Oh, go. ball is to Povita, but it's stolen away by Martinez. Oh, a drive by Velasquez, who sinks the layup. And Birmingham now has the lead, 13-12. Oh, Birmingham is hitting the Vikings with a very harsh full court press, and the Vikings are struggling to get the ball past half court. He can't see. All right, pass to Sepulveda. Sepulveda dribbles up, pulls up for three, and bang! That's her, it. that's her second three of the game. Sinks the three right there. The three. You know, that is her shot. They will start falling, like I said, and they are look, those shots looking good right now. If she can keep hitting those, can oh, go Lopez goes up for the layup, and it's fouled. It falls hard. Lopez at the charity strike. <laughs> Lopez sinks the first free throw. <laughs> Lopez for the second free throw. And it rims out. Birmingham down one. This press that uh, Birmingham is applying is working a little bit. There's been some turnovers, but looks like Campbell Hall's Ball breaking it right now. Oh, uh, Williams uh, miss, throws an errant pass to Dario and out of bounds. Yeah, Birmingham keep up this press. I think they can definitely win this game. But you know, if Campbell Hall can figure out how to break it, you know, they look like they were about to break it right there, and Williams just threw it away. Yeah. I definitely think if Campbell Hall can break this press. Lopez dribbles the ball up for uh, Birmingham. 
passes to um, Martinez in the post. Martinez goes up, oh, and that is a jump ball, and the ball's awarded to the Vikings. Sorry guys, sorry guys. We were experiencing a couple technical difficulties, um, so sorry. We're if back. We're good. Clear, but we're, we're back. Pass to Dodario. Oh, who tries to force it into Smith? Um, sorry, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. Um, we oh, can't, Smith gets a nice steal, but steps out of but bounds. Hopefully, we can figure this out pretty soon. Um, it's Birmingham's ball right now. The score is 17-14. Birmingham, or actually Vikings, up 17-14. Ball out of bounds off the Vikings. Great defense right here. See if they can keep it up. Maybe force a. Text them again. Maybe force a. Right. Ball's pass to number three, Velasquez, who makes the layup, cutting the Viking lead down to only one. Sepulveda's trying to break the press. She dribbles up, throws a nice pass to Williams. Williams has the ball um, take, or not take it from her. Call for a jump, jump. ball. It's Vikings ball, though. So Paul to inbound over Lopez. Pass to Williams. Williams drives it. it. Oh, drives it. Draws the foul. It's on the ground. Vikings inbounding. Um, Silverstein subs in for, or no, not Silverstein. So Starkman subs in for Silverstein. We have a little stoppage in play as of right now. Sepulveda inbounds the ball to Williams. Williams dribbles, passes to Smith. Smith pulls up from three. Uh, she misses. Lopez gets the rebound and is back on defense. Passes to Velasquez, who smokes the layup. But the Vikings are called for a foul. Call on number 12, Starkman. The first free throw is up. Velasco shoots the free throw and makes it. Velasco shoots the next free throw and makes both. Um, giving the Vikings, I mean giving Birmingham an 18 to 17 lead and the Vikings call a timeout. No, now we can. Now we can hear. Sorry guys, we're, um, our headsets are cutting in and out. Oh. Um, sorry, uh, but um, yeah, we're still gonna try to announce a good game um, for you guys. Up. Oh, okay, we're back. Um, what do you think the Vikings adjustments need to be to break this press? What do you, can you hear me? What yeah, I think to break this press, you know, definitely got to run their press break. Try to see, and I'm de I know they definitely have one, you know. Get it to Layla in the middle. No one can take it from her when she brings it up, up top, you know, over her head. No one's going to take it from her. I think, you know, she can, once she gets it, 
Bring it overhead, move it down court, get a free layup every every single time. Get a free layup yeah, every no, single time. Yeah, I think time. so too. And I think if the Vikings could figure out how to do that, they'll definitely win this game. Um, Vikings about Sepulveda inbounds to um, Starkman, who, pass, who passes back to Sepulveda, passes back to Starkman, passes to Williams, but it's broken up. Smith gets the steal and makes a tough one left handed layup. Ball's passed to Lopez. Lopez dribbles up past Smith. And a, a contested, makes a contested shot over Williams. Vidario inbounds to Starkman. Vikings are, uh, oh, ball's out of bounds. It's Birmingham's ball. Clock's, clock stopped with four minutes and 20 seconds left in the second quarter. Vikings force another miss and get the ball back, but it is stolen away from Starkman. And Jones with the layup. All right, guys, we are back, and hopefully we can go the rest of the game without any more technical problems. Yep. Um, Smith inbounds the ball for the Vikings. Um, she can't get it in. Over, she throws it over Sepulveda's head and is stolen by Lopez, who makes um, a transition basket. Birmingham is up right now, 22 19. All of a sudden, oh, they find this down three. Another, down turnover, another turnover forced by the suffocating Birmingham defense. It's been like this all night. The Vikings have struggled to get uh, open looks. Oh, pass cross court to Lopez, who misses the three. Rebound by Williams. Pass to five Sepulveda. on four. Five on four. Pass to Smith. Smith pulls up for three, and smokes the three. <coughs> Rebound by um, Anaya Johnson, and we have a foul called on Dario. I think that's her third foul. She'll likely be subbed out, so she doesn't foul out. That is not what you like to see there. No. As that is one of the best defenders, you know. Yeah. Um, Jones inbounds the ball to Lopez. Lopez takes it up for Birmingham. Birmingham, or er, Lopez passes to Jones, who passes to Barry. Barry's been cooking all night and taken in the post by Martinez. He forces a tough layup in over Layla and Williams. And just tells Layla Williams that you're too little. Wow, did not see that one coming right there. She's going to lay up, and the Vikings find themselves down seven points right here. Oh my God, it's stripped away again by Birmingham. Birmingham gets the ball back, passes up court to Jones. Jones with the layup, and she makes the tough left-handed layup. Vikings call another timeout. They are now down nine points. How quickly the score went from Vikings up three to down nine. Um, wow, Birmingham really adjusted that defense and ever since has just been commanding this game. Do you yeah. think the Vikings can find a way to break this press and get back in this game? I definitely think they got to get someone in the middle. I know they definitely have a press break that, they, that they're running, but, you know, Find Layla in the middle, have her, you know, take that ball up, get overhead. No one's gonna reach you overhead, and you know, just find find the find the open person, you know. Yeah, for sure. Um, and for the Vikings, do you think they need to slow it down, or do you think they need to speed it up and blitz and get back right back in this game? I don't think they, you know, they gotta take their time, get in their sets, but also, they they are faster than this team, you know. Yeah. So fast break, transition layups, like once Layla gets that board, you know. Look right away. See there's somebody streaking out. Try to hit him ahead for a layup. Yeah, for sure. And for Birmingham, you just think more of the same. The press, you know, the press is working. I think they're on a nine or run, twelve or run, something like that. You know, they've gotten three straight or four straight turnovers just off this press, just off this 22 press. You know, and it's it's working good for them. You know, they've gotten free layups almost every single time. Yeah, I 100% agree. And I mean, I just think that they've been getting open looks, and that's been great for the um, for Birmingham. The Vikings really need to find a way to stop it. So, um, Starkman inbounds the ball to Smith in the middle, and Birmingham forces another turnover by Barry, who passes it to Jones, who finishes another layup. The score is now 11. The Birmingham's now up 11. Oh, my God, another steal by Lopez, who goes for the layup and makes it. Pass to Smith. Oh, man, another steal by Barry. This team is looking dominant right now. Now five or six is straight turnovers for the Vikings. You know, not not looking good coming out of the timeout, but Silverstein subs in for Starkman. Lopez to inbound the ball again to Barry, who 
Oh, misses a, t a tough layup over Williams. Williams is just such a dominant force in the paint and has just forced so many turnovers this game. Foul called on number 42, Mar Lily Martinez of Birmingham. Kemba Hall will inbound this ball. Silverstein inbounds to Smith. Smith passes back to Silverstein, who passes to Sepulveda. Oh, and it's stolen by Barry. Wow. Just oh, wow. wow, another one. And oh, oh. smoked a layup. But he's got very lucky there as they need to figure out how to break this press or they will not win this game. I think that they just need to force Birmingham to start missing some shots so, so that they can get fast break opportunities of, for themselves. Oh, tough flow wow. by Sepulveda. What a move right there. Team Sepulveda with a little hezzy. Just got right there. Floater game. Stopping Beautiful. Birmingham's run and making him slow down offensively, not being able to blitz him as much. Oh, a steal by Smith. Smith brings it up and hits a spin. And a top left-handed layup. That was nice. Love you, bud. You want Popeyes? Popeyes, Popeyes. Pass to um, Velasquez. Passes. Oh, Vikings had the rebound, but they, they let it go. And Jones gets the rebound, or gets the steal but misses the shot. And this is what we've been looking for. You know, Kemba Hall is picking up the pace. Yep. Getting and, buckets. Oh, getting and nice transition. Sepulveda, nice pass to Weinberger, who shoots over Barry. And gets the two-pointer. What two a move pointer. right there. The Feed him down low. Feed him down low. The Vikings are trying to make a run of their own, get back in this game. Um, do, you, do you think that, like, like, what do you think they're going to have to do more of to, like, really get this run to keep going? Keep doing the same, you know. Force oh, the and numbers. a travel call. They just forced him right there. Anaya Johnson. Keep forcing it. Keep feeding them down low. You know, this defense is not great down low. We're going to get free layups every single time, I'm telling you. She's got to break this pass right Sepulveda now, though. Passes there it to, is. To above Williams. her head. Keep it above her head. Find the open man. Williams dribbles over a very small Izzy Smith, but it's stolen away by number 23, um, Velasquez, who passes to number 35, who misses, and then is recovered by Barry, who, who makes the layup. This Birmingham team is playing a great defense and is, even with a bigger Campbell Hall team, is still finding ways to get rebounds and dominate the glass. Sepulveda misses the corner three. Sepul Silverstein uh, tips it out to Smith. Smith pulls up from three. Bang! And just like that, the Vikings cut the Jeez, lead down to six sink points. Sink that. Those, start, those shots are going to start falling. Man, that's very impressive. The freshman on varsity just making plays all over the um, court, and we've definitely seen it all like, very impressive. today. Yes, indeed. I think if, I think Campbell Hall just needs to keep giving the ball to like the players that are hot. Ooh, but there's a good pass. Birmi a great pass from Birmingham to Izzy Smith, who sinks the layup. A foul called on Birmingham. Two seconds left. Let's see if uh, Campbell Hall can pull some magic here. The two. Sepulveda inbounds to Smith, who throws a errant shot. Um, it is halftime. Your Vikings are down by eight points to Birmingham, who has played a stifling game of defense and has dominated the glass. Um, I Just tenacious. I believe we'll be taking a short break at halftime, to my knowledge. So we'll get back to you um, in a few minutes.
Bar Here's Natalie Lopez. She passed it to 11. Oh, for a floater. Ooh, it's a little ugly, but it's rebounded. But I don't even know who. Back out to Natalie Lopez for three. It's a little long, but another rebound. That's by Lily Martinez. She puts it up. It doesn't go in. Another rebound. And finally, a foul called. Devin Berry going to the line, shooting two. Even with Campbell Hall's size, um, Bur Birmingham's finding a way to get rebounds and get these second chance opportunities, which is crucial for them winning this game. That was like four opportunities right there. You cannot have that if you want to win this game for the Vikings. The first beat there is brick, and it's not good. Missed shot, rebound by Dario. Dario uh, gets the ball, passes to Williams, and it is tipped out. Another turnover. Nevaeh Smith trying to get that. Is not. Here's a, the drive by Barry. Oh. And she gets blocked by Layla Williams. What a presence down there. You know, there's been a couple foul calls, but really good defense down low for Layla. And here's Tina. She's dribbling. Dribbles to defenders. Oh, what a pass and a layup. A beautiful pass and a beautiful finish by Dario. That play was perfect. If the Vikings can keep that up, they'll win this game. Here's a midi from Devin Berry. She gets her own rebound. Goes for the reverse. High off the backboard. Does not fall. Oh, and they get an offensive board. It's a three for number 23, Samantha Velasquez. And she sinks it. Man, Birmingham looks dominant on the offensive They'll glass. put him up. The Vikings have come out in this half and have looked sluggish. They have not looked good. This is another steal happens. And here's, they bring it into Lily Martinez. She goes up. She does not make it. She gets her own rebound. Goes up again. Does not get it. But there's another offensive board. And finally, Nevaeh Smith gets a steal. About eight offensive boards and two possessions. And you cannot have that if you're the Vikings here. Here's Nevaeh dribbling in. Pulls up a little midi. Air balls. And Devin Barry gets the rebound. And here's a fast break. Number 23. Gets the layup, that's Samantha Velasquez. Birmingham is playing with such pace, and I think it's really just catching the Vikings off guard, and they're getting steals. And Another steal. And now Lopez lays it in, which forces Coach Kenny for Campbell Hall to call a timeout. How do you think the Vikings uh, fix this turnover problem and get back in this game? You just gotta break the press, you know? As simple as that. If they can break this press, get a few buckets, the Birmingham will be like, oh, oh damn, you know, they, they broke our press. They're going to fall back. And that's when the Vikings can really click. They can really start getting buckets, you know. As long as they can get a couple buckets to break in this press, the press will stop. And they can start getting buckets otherwise. How they like doing them. For how, sure. How they like getting buckets, you know. Do you think Birmingham's going to be able to keep up this, like, pressure the whole game and keep forcing tur turnovers? If, uh, if the Vikings can't, can't get past it, you know. Yes, you know, every like I don't think the Vikings have gone past half court in about three possessions, you know, and it's that's what's co that's what's caused Coach Kenny call this timeout, you know. They're turning over, they're just giving Birmingham free layups and I wanna win a basketball game, you can't have that. I one hundred percent agree. That suffocating defense has made like an eight point lead very quickly a fifteen point lead. Yep. And I mean it's just it's just been like that the whole game and I I mean, ever since the first maybe four minutes of the game, Birmingham has dominated every aspect. Yes, they have, you know. But hopefully, the Vikings are coming out of this timeout with a new fire, a new passion to get past this pass press break. Let's see what Kansas is drawing up here. It goes into Nevaeh Smith and goes back to Tina. She breaks it a little bit. Back to back to Nevaeh right before half court. She dribbles. Back to Tina. Looks like they're actually breaking it. Oh, but Tina throws it away. And Velasquez goes all the way for a layup. You know, there was a good look there. But right as they get past half court, they turn it over. And here it is again. Oh, you see that dribbling. She's double teamed. Trying to get out. And a foul is called. Birmingham's trap is suffocating. And the Vikings don't know how to react or how to deal with it. Here's, uh, here's Tina. She's double teamed. Gets it to Layla. Layla gets it to the corner. To Poppy for a deep three. And it's off the back iron. But a rebound, and off the off the foot of Birmingham, it'll be Campbell Hall ball. What a great play by Romy Dario there to keep a Campbell Hall ball. Great hustle, great energy. Here it goes into Layla. 
She backs down the defender, goes up for a post move, lays it off the backboard beautifully and gets a bucket. This, um, this um, front court play by the Vikings is something that they were definitely missing the first two games coming into this game 0-2. They definitely struggle with the rebounds and having um, Williams and Daddario, even though they're losing, I feel like they've played a better game rebounding and defensive-wise. Yeah, you know, to start the second half, their offensive rebounding was very bad. You know, they let up so many offensive boards. But now, you know, starting to break this press. And there's another foul on number 35. That's Andrea Arosa Mena. Now here is Tina bringing it in. And it's Navea dribbling up the court. She's double teamed. Oh, she breaks it and gets it. Gets it stolen. No, it's back. Back to Layla. She's driving in for the layup. She gets the foul call. She'll be shooting two free throws right here. Three fouls here for the, in the first three and a half minutes for Birmingham. Maybe getting the Vikings in the bonus would do them a big favor, you know. For Get sure. Throws. The first free throw is no good. As they let go for the second one. And it misses two. And Birmingham missed the board. And they run the fast break. There's number 13, Annette Jones. She pulls up for the midi. It is no good, but number four. But now it gets the board. The Vikings coach is um, saying that the Vikings are struggling to back out, uh, box out and um, it's leading to Birmingham's offensive rebounds and I can totally yeah. see it because right now Birmingham is dominating the glass. They're getting second chance opportunity after second chance opportunity every single play and that is what's keeping them in this game with that press defense, you know. Getting a second chance is just crucial. You get another, you get another shot at making a basket. You know, the Vikings aren't getting those. Birmingham is. It's just unfortunate. 100%. Second free throw is good. To pull it in, bounce to Smith. Smith juggling. Alea going on the sideline. Another foul call. Do you think these these fouls will you know help the help the Vikings eventually get to the line and get some points back on the board? Oh, for sure. I mean, three points are three points, and the Vikings have been struggling to even get to the rim. But Birmingham is giving them opportunities by fouling them before they even cross half court. And once again to the bonus, that's going to equal three points for the Vikings. Navea loses it, but gets it back. She's trapped in the corner. Oh, she breaks it beautifully. Has a fast break, three on two. Dumps it off. Oh, and Poppy, she smokes the layup. But then, number 10, Devin Berry, is called for the out of bounds. And it'll be a Vikings ball under the basket. See if they have a clever inbounds play here to get a bucket. Tina Sepulveda is inbounding. She gets it to Nevaeh Smith. Nevaeh Smith sizing up her defender. Dribbling, trying to get past her. Great defense right there. Oh. Roney drives in. Does not get the foul call. Misses gets her own board. Goes up again. Does not get the foul call again. And a board by Nevaeh Smith. She's driving, dumps it off. And a foul call. Layla Williams go, will go to the line to shoot two free throws. If the Vikings can keep getting offensive rebounds and getting like second chance points, they can definitely get back in this game. There's still a lot of time left. Lots of time, lots of time. You know, only, it's only eight buckets. Smith seems to be getting up a little gimpy. Seems like she's favoring her right leg for sure. Yeah, maybe roll her ankle right there when she landed on that pass, you know, jump pass to Layla, and I think she might have landed on that a little awkwardly there. Yeah. Layla, the first free throw is no good. It seems like... She'll be subbed out. Starkman and um, Weinberger sub into the game. And Silverstein and Smith sub out. Yeah, and they, uh, <laughs> Lilo Williams from the line. Misses the free throw. Yeah, she missed, that she missed the second free throw and the first, you know. Free throws are not falling right now, but if we, if the, if the Vikings keep getting in the middle, It'll pay off eventually. This is just three for Natalie Lopez, and she sinks it to just make the three bigger. Now the press is laying off as they are up by 19 points. The Vikings have really been struggling, but maybe with the press being gone, they're going to be able to make some kind of a run. But oh, still a, a 
trap from Birmingham, and this trap is just well, a foul is called. That is now the fifth foul of this quarter. Should be in the bonus. It appears to be. Yep, and Tina Sepulveda will get two shots, a chance to cut this lead. Sepulveda Josh sinks the first. first. Great shot right there, you know. Weinberger subs in These for Vikings can keep drawing fouls. It'll be great. Weinberger subs keep in for Silverstein. Um, let's get another like wing on the court. Second is good too. Custom to 17 points. 51-34, Birmingham. Natalie Lopez brings it up. She passes to Devin Berry for the corner three. Long, and it's re rebounded by the Vikings. Brings up oh, rebounded by Starkman, but ripped away. And then laid up by Lily Martinez. She Look. has been dominating this game. She's been dominating the boards and the paint, making shots. Been a very impressive outing for her. Here's Tina, sizing up her defender, trying to get a screen. The screen is not come. She's doubled. Oh, and a jump ball is called. Possession arrow appears to go to Birmingham, which means it is another turnover for the Vikings. These Vikings can just not get through these traps, and lots of turnovers just happening, you know? I mean, we don't like to see. As here, Samantha Velasquez bringing it up, calling a play. Annette Jones go to the corner. No, it's a, it's a dumb ball number four. Anaya, back to Annette Jones for three. She's short. Rebound, Layla over the back. Foul called on Birmingham, and that will be Vikings ball. That calls on number four, Anaya um, Johnson. Layla will be shooting two free throws here since they are in the bonus. And she sinks the first. You know, that's definitely going to be a good feeling after missing four straight. She knocks down that one. Let's yep. hope she knocks down some more. Second one is no good. But it's a rebound by Ronnie. And oh. she gets the ball ripped away from her. Ripped away. That looks like a foul call to me. But Anaya you know, Johnson brings it up, passes to Annette it. Jones. He passes it to Velasquez. Velasquez looking for an open lane to the rim. Turns it over, and that's Vikings ball. Great defense right there. Vikings trying to get back into this game, down 17, 53-35, Birmingham. The Vikings are playing a 2-3 defense, and they're getting stops, but they just cannot seem to get um, defensive rebounds. Tina drives in and gets a beautiful layup to cut this lead to 15 points. Vikings need a stop here if they want to continue this run. It's, it's Annette Jones. Back to Annette Jones. She's sizing up the defender. Going in for the layup, smokes it. Layla trying to get the board. She does. She's running this fast break, dribbling down the court, trying to find something. It gets it to Tina. Tina's driving in. And she hits. Starkman, Starkman for the layup. She hits. That's a nice bucket for really the first year. That is. Um, the first year wing who just finished up. And another um, turnover. Layla running the break again. Whoa. And that travel called on the Vikings. Looked like a little more than two steps right there. I think they, she froze up all the way to the rim. And he got a little too excited. Yeah. Thinking I got an open layup. Vikings have actually cut the lead down to 14 um, with a minute and 17 seconds left in the third quarter and hopefully and are hoping to make a run. And They are getting stops on defense and getting buckets on offense. And that is what you love to see. And there's a three by number 20. 20. That's Izzy Smith. And there's a rebound by Lily Martinez again. A monster on the offensive boards. But there's Layla with the board. Great board right there. She gives it to Sierra. And now Tina is bringing it up the court. Up on the left side. She sizing up her defender. Screen by Sierra. Takes it the other way. Tina draws the foul and will shoot two free throws. To try to cut this lead down to 12. Sepulveda seems to be hurt. Um, she is down. She's not getting up. I think an injury timeout has been called. The it's trainers. Not love to see. No. The Vikings now are without both of their starting guards. If Sepulveda does end up going out with um, Smith already, it seems, icing that ankle and Sepulveda down with a groin injury. Yeah, Sepulveda just getting hot, made the layup, then drew the foul. This is just so unfortunate for the Vikings here. 
already having many players out yeah. of this game. The, yeah, definitely not a recipe for um, winning, and that's, well, that's know, a really tough loss. Only a 14-point game. And now, looks like Poppy Silverstein will check in. 14 of the shoot these free throws in. Kind of the 12. And, you know, she's getting up with some help. But good to see her. Good to see Tina get up right there. Yeah. The Vikings um, sub in Shil Charlotte Weinberger and um, Poppy Silverstein right Poppy there. Poppy Silverstein's in. Let's shoot the free throws. The team, the, the team is really without a true point guard right now, running with like two wings and a shooting guard and two bigs. First free throw. It's fine. First free throw has fallen, and the second one is off. Rebound by Izzy Smith. She's bringing up the court. Looks like a speedy, speedy person right here. Into Lily Martinez. She's doubled. Back out. It's a brick by number 23, Samantha Velasquez. And Layla looks like she got in a little argument with number 42 right there. Maybe they got some beef going. She'll be a little side in here. Vikings ball, though. Lead at 13 points now. Um, Vikings are on a 7 0 run right here. Scores 40 to 53. Birmingham. See if they can finish out this quarter strong. As Poppy brings it up the court, sizing up the defender, making some moves. Get the screen from Sierra. Oh, and a foul is called on Samantha Velasquez, and Poppy will go back to the line as they're in the bonus and have been for a long time. Which is really, I think, is propelling them, you know, these free throws, right? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, they've actually started knocking down the free throws, and it's cut the lead down. And I, I think if they can keep doing that, they can really get back in this ballgame. It's, it's still early. The first week, it's still early. There's still eight and a half minutes left in this game. That 12 point game. The second free throw is no good. It's rebounded. And now the Samantha Velasquez has it. Bringing the up the court with 20 seconds left on the clock. The Vikings are going to have to take care of their, um, I mean, are going to have to take advantage of these opportunities they're getting at the free throw line. And so far, they have not done that. Looks like this will be the last shot of the, of the quarter here. Oh. Velasquez drives oh no, in she drives in fast. And gets oh, a foul. Oh, gets a foul call. I did not see where that foul was right there. Did not see. The call is on foul. Silverstein. I think it was before she got to the rim right there. But it does not matter. They are still calling it a shooting foul. Yeah, you know, not sure where the refs are right there, but Velasquez will go to the line and shoot too. First one is off the back iron and no good. Second one is good. As the lead's now 54 41. <clears throat> Six seconds left to Poppy. She's dribbling up the court. Three, two, pulls up from the volleyball line and oh. air balls as this quarter ends. Vikings are down by 13, but they made a great run. In the, at the end of the third quarter. Um, I think if they can keep everything up, they have a chance to win this game. Um, I know it's tough right now, missing two of their starting guards, but I think if they keep doing what they're doing, they can you know, make plays and get back in this game. What do you think? Definitely, you know, if they can keep drawing these fouls, get in the bonus again this quarter, it'll be huge for them to come back, you know? That press is laid off, and they're looking good in their, in their set, in their half-court set. You know, their defense, not looking bad, just, I think, you know, offensive boards. They're letting up way too many. Would you agree? No, 100%. They've really struggled um, on like, getting rebounds and finishing possession and like ending Birmingham possessions, which, um, you know, you can't win games if you can't get the ball. And you also can't get, get, win games if the other team's scoring every time they get the ball. And even when, mm, I, don't think, I don't think we need to, right? I mean, we thought talk about it. Um, yeah. No, I was just saying, because we kind of mentioned it on the broadcast. Yeah. Yeah, um, sorry, we got a pretty terrible idea from one of our camera guys on what to say, but um, I just want to make that known right now. Um, but, you know, besides that, no, um, exciting basketball game. We've had an exciting slate today. This is our fourth, fourth game, second game we've broadcasted. We just had our boys varsity finish up. We got our first win of this new, very new season and our first home win, which was big. Um, the girls varsity is hoping to find their first win of the season and also their first home win. You know, only down 13 right now. I think it's very manageable for the Vikings to come back and win this game.
Both teams have been playing very hard. You know, uh, I wonder, I definitely wonder if Birmingham comes out with the press. He's really been working, you know. I don't know why they let it off. They were forcing so many turnovers. Um, no, I 100% agree. I think um, they'll lay off the press, and if um, the Vikings are able to cut the lead to only 10, I think that they're going to start pressing again. Um, I think so, too. As, uh, just try to, you know, get that lead back. As Natalie Lopez takes it up, and it's into Anaya. Oh, what a pass from Anaya oh, Johnson. And, uh, great defense by Layla Williams. They're forcing up a tough shot. It's an air ball, and it's up to Poppy as she's taking down the court. Uh, Birmingham has relied on, like, great strength and athleticism, which is just, they've really been dominating with all of that. And um, Campbell Hall, you know, is very, has struggled to get the ball past these athletic defenders, and Birmingham dominates with the, the athleticism on defense. As Charlotte Weinberger turns it over right there, oh, and now Nali Lopez is bringing it up the, up the court. Gives it to Annette Jones. Back to Nali Lopez right here. Sizing up the defenders. Into Annette in the short corner. Floater is long. Great tip right there from Sierra to get it to Charlotte and not let Birmingham have a Sabrina takes Sabrina Starkman takes up the ball. Um, and I think it's important to talk about her finishing up a very like storied volleyball career here at Campbell Hall, winning a state championship and becoming runner-ups in a um, CIF championship, which is very impressive co accomplishments. Um, definitely, definitely, you, definitely. you know, Campbell Hall just getting to raise a state banner, um, first one in a while. Um, and Charlotte gets tied up here down low. Yeah, first one in a while, and I Hall, and I know that she's um, hoping to hang another banner with the basketball team. Oh, of course. Senior year, two banners will be an amazing senior definitely. season, and a, definitely a great way to end off your high school career. Here's this inbound into Layla Williams. She gets doubled, and it's taken by Nally Lopez. I think Nally Lopez might have double digit steals this game. She's she has a, been a menace. She's had a dominant game. She might have a triple double with steals. As it Devin is Barry right there gets the layup to extend the lead to 15. Starkman struggling to break this press right now, and Birmingham looks to be back to the suffocating press that they found success with earlier in the game. Charlotte goes up for the layup, and she misses, but a rebound by Williams, and it's fouled. Williams is back at the charity strike where she's been living all game. She's probably taken 10 free throws already this at game. At the least, at the least. It has been dominant. Birmingham has found no way to stop her other than foul. If a couple more of these free throws can just fall, Campbell Hall will find themselves with great success. That is true. As the first one is no good. And it looks like she is pulled this, checking back into this game as she is trying to fight back from injury to will her team to a win right here. Oh, what a pass! What from a great Lopez. fast break right there, and all that Poppy can do is just foul because that would have been a free layup for Devin Berry right there. Lopez is having a dominant game today and is really willing the Bir Birmingham to success. That is true. Her, her and Divine, or Devin um, Barry, have a very great like bond great and chemistry. great chemistry. Yeah, they just um, Lopez keeps man, finding yeah. Barry like in pick and roll and cutting opportunities, and it's been very impressive. So Pulver to subs in for Weinberger. What a return! And, you know, she can even get up, and now she's back because she wants to win this game. She cares about this team. As the second free throw goes in, and now it's a 17 point game. Pass to Starkman and foul on Lopez, trying to go for another steal. I think Lopez is getting a little hungry for these steals. I don't know what a foul count is at, but it'll be great if Kimball can keep drawing these fouls and, you know, keep getting free throws. And here's Layla Williams. She drives in, gets the lamp, and it's an end one. Man, she has been dominant in her first dominant. ever first ever varsity basketball game as a freshman, and she is dominating. She also was part of that state championship volleyball team. Um, yes, she was, yes, she was. And even got to play, get, uh, got a decent amount of playing time as a freshman which is very impressive. And Her team so good. Calls a 30-second timeout because they got to figure out what to do with this Layla Williams. They cannot stop it right now. And I got to know, what do you what do you think that Kim Hall needs to do while, like, to win this game? You know, to, what do they got to keep doing? They, they got to find a way to get those rebounds. They got to find a way to um, score every possession. And when they get to the free throw line, they got to find a way to make their free throws because so far they've been struggling with their from the free throw line. They've been struggling to get rebounds. They've been struggling to like get the ball to the rim without turning it over. 
it's just been a very sloppy game by the Vikings, but they're still in it. Um, and even if they can't win this one, it's something that they can work on and figure out this season and get better at. It's not league yet. Really, these games have no effect. These games don't really have that much of an effect on like whether they get two playoffs or not. But it is um, a good. These non-league games are very important to like find stuff you need to work on. Definitely. Now let's see if uh, Lil Williams can knock down this free throw. Free throw is up, and it's no good. But she does not get over him. But somebody else does. Now Layla has the ball. Passes Darkman to Dario. We find Silverstein on the wing. Oh, three is no good. Oh my! But another another rebound Williams. by Layla. Oh, Ooh, oh and air ball with the backboard. It's all good though. Great, great offensive rebounding right there by the Vikings. They gotta keep that up. They wanna win this game. This is a three for Samantha Velasquez and she sinks it. They throw a dagger in the hearts of the Vikings right here. Another turnover by the Vikings and it seems He's that another three for Velasquez and she sinks no. this one too. Correct. That's six points in about 10 seconds for Samantha Velasquez. Back to the suffocating press and it is really just dominating the Vikings. Yeah, the Vikings, you know, they don't want to do this press. They don't want to do with this press. And, you know, Birmingham went back, and it's working. As here's a floater from, from Sierra Starkman. Sabrina. With a, Sabrina. Sabrina Starkman, that's on me. Stash says Sierra. You know, that's... Yeah. You know, got to figure that one out. It's all yeah. good. Trapped by Birmingham and another. Oh, they force a jump ball. They don't give him the steal. Possession arrow is pointed towards towards in favor of Birmingham. Birmingham ball. Oh wait. Yep. Birmingham ball. Another, that's another the score turnover. Is now 66-45 Birmingham. Seems Birmingham has put this game away once they went back to their trap. But we'll see if the Vikings can turn this around. Will out of win, maybe. Here it's into Lily Martinez. She gets into the corner. Oh, and it's blocked by Layla Williams. It looks like that is off Lily Martinez. Vikings ball with four minutes left in this game. Four and a half. Starkman inbounds to Silverstein. Back to Starkman. Passes to Dario. Dario dribbles. Passes to Sepulveda. Who pulls up for three. And misses the three, but rebound by Williams, another offensive she board puts it up. for the young puts it up freshman. Again. That is about three rebounds, now one play for Layla. She is fighting hard and not giving up. What you love to see from a freshman that you know you're going to have for years to come. And she's a three that's missing. It's rebounded by Lily Martinez. An offensive board put back. Because now they're up 68 to 45. Campbell Hall has just been struggling to break this press and struggling to finish possessions. Looks like Poppy going coast to coast, loses it, but gets it back to so Tina. Spolvita. Floater and is that's good. A bucket. Williams looks a little bit gimpy after the last possession, and I think she's going to be subbed out. Campbell Hall calls a timeout. Campbell Hall has, just battle, has been battling injuries all game. Yeah, you know, just very unfortunate. The injuries and I definitely know this. They haven't been able to break press all all game, and it's, it's really hurt them. And yeah, with injuries, I think that it's just I think injuries really um, and just not being able to like like deal with that is just really gonna in in this game for the Vikings. You know, they've yeah they were about half the game they've been missing their star freshman point guard. Uh, Nevaeh Smith, they missed a whole, almost a whole quarter from um, their senior um, guard, combo guard, or Tina Sepulveda, and then now it looks like Layla Williams is um, battling a knee injury, which she, which she came into the game with a taped up knee. Yeah, you know, Nevaeh out about late second quarter, and it's just, you know, has left this team without a point guard, so they, you know, can't break a pass without a point guard, right? For sure, and I, I, very think, hard. I think that Sepulveda can definitely break the press um, as a combo guard, but I think that this game, exactly, it's, exactly. it's hard when you just have one, you know, when you have like one true guard that can take up the definitely. ball instead of having two that you can like bounce, like pass the ball back yeah. between. And then even she was out for a good yeah, exactly. amount and she's you not know, even playing 100%. She's definitely not 100, you know, still a little gimpy, but fighting hardest to 
stay in this game. As oh, another pass to Barry, and Barry finishes the layup. Man, she's been impressive today, her and Lopez. And that was the pass from Samantha Velasquez, who has also been dominant in this game. It reminds, Threes and assists. It reminds me of another guard forward duo that we saw back in the 2010s, um, Chris Paul and Blake Griffin. Well, that was oh. a great duo, Lob City, man. A great Love shot right there from that. Sepulveda for the pull-up two. She's still yeah. fighting. Still fighting for some points in this game. Campbell Hall, trying to get the to Campbell win. Hall in the 2-3 zone, just trying to take up space with our lanky defenders. Um, you know, it's definitely tough trying to guard such an athletic Bur it's tough trying to guard such an athletic Birmingham team. Um, so I think this 2-3 zone is... Wow, there's is Anaya Johnson with the layup. I, I think the 2-3 zone is doing a great job slowing him down, even with such um, like elite athletes over at Birmingham. Here's so, Tina, she passes to Starkman, who lays it up, Dario. oh and misses it, oh Dario, my bad, who lays it up. Rebound by um, Arrow Sema, who dribbles, passes to Izzy Smith, who passes to Anaya Johnson, who misses the mid-range, rebound, rebound by Sepulveda. She's got options, to three on two, takes it herself, lays it up and in. What a bucket right there on the fast break. A great, a great job getting the rebound going coast to coast and finishing through some traffic. Here's a three for Velasquez again. She misses this time. A relief. As the ball goes out of bounds and it is called Vikings basketball. Um, Velasquez um, seems to be poked in the eye and is subbed out for number 30, Asia Washington. Here's the pull with the ball. Getting the screen from Nadario. Goes the other way. Looks like she's double in the corner. Breaks it. Back to Nadario. Into the corner. It's tipped. Nadario recovers. And it's tipped again. And now it's finally stolen by Birmingham. They're on a fast break. Andrea. Oh. To Izzy Smith. To Izzy who Smith. Smokes who the smokes layup, it. But rebound by um, Arosema who finishes the layup. Yeah, Arosema, you know. Great board right there. Great put back. Yeah. After Izzy Smith breaks it. Fix it, yeah. The Here's Tina again. Is another layup. This one in as another well. Floater. She is cooking here in these final minutes of the game. Campbell Hall seems to be subbing in. Looking a lot healthier, you know. Lee love to see after she's, she went down. Probably yeah. come back out here and scoring at least eight points. Um, Campbell Hall seems to be wanting to sub in a couple more players um, off the bench. You know, just give a couple fresh legs at the end of the game and get some of the starters that are banged up out of the game. Yeah, and here's Tia Spulveda bringing it up again. She tells Starkman to clear out. And now Starkman's going to set her screen. She, she takes it the other way. Floaters up, and it's short. As Anai Johnson gets the rebound. It kind of reminds me of this one short point guard in the NBA that shoots a lot of those floaters, um, Stephen Curry. You know, Definitely. You know, he's a three-point uh, specialist as well. But he's but such a floater merchant. You know, just drives in the lane, gets shots up over those bigger defenders that like, you know, could definitely block a shot if he just goes for a normal layup. Shea goes out, Alexander also with those floaters. Yep, for watched sure. Him. Yeah, no, definitely. I don't get to see a ton of OKC games just due to media deals and that not true, showing OKC. A lot of, a lot of uh, Golden State games, um, huh? Ava Stefan and Quinn Davidson sub in the game for the Vikings for Romy Daddario and Charlotte Weinberger. There's 18 seconds left. And looks like this game is over. Yep. Um, it has been a fun night today. We have had four basketball games. Um, our boys varsity got their first win at home, and our girls team is still looking for their first win. But, um, you know, we we'll, are looking to improve the record, but definitely played a decent game today. Steal by Starkman, who goes for the layup, smokes the layup. At the end, and the final score will be 76-53 yep. Birmingham. I hope everybody has a good night here. Um, Campbell Hall Broadcasting Club, we will be signing out. Thank you for Thank watching you so and much, staying you know. in tune. All right, Thanks. good night.